Hello there, today I'm going to show you how to make a critical path um, network diagram in uh, pro project, um, PowerPoint, sorry. So, first of all, you need to open PowerPoint. So, I'm just going to type it in. I'm using 2010 PowerPoint, but it's exactly the same. Get rid of the that, and I don't want a subtitle yet, so I'll delete this. Right, okay, and what we're going to be doing is um, fiddling with shapes today to try and make um, this critical path look pretty cool. So, normally you start off with a circle, so go to shapes, sorry, go to insert on your menu bar, your toolbar, and click insert shapes. Scroll down. And there's a circle, so I want a circle first of all. Okay, and I don't want any fill in this, so I'm going to right click on it and put format shape. And then if you can see, you can just click no fill. And I want a line color to be red. I want red line color. Yeah. And then normally you have an arrow, so I'm going to put the arrow there and bind it to the right point there and I'm going to make that also, if I just click on the arrow, look why it's highlighted format shape, I want the fill, the line colour to be red as well um, and I want the style, I want it a bit thicker, I want it to be two points, width yeah, I'm going to extend that a bit okay um, and then to show that it's which task it is, I'm going to go to the text box and I'm going to draw a text box over the top of it and I want this to be task 1 but I want the user to be able to uh, alter this when they need to so I'm going to take, also take this down and just highlight it again a lot and take it down to about 12 I think take that down because you're going to have to get quite a few of these on a diagram I'm going to reduce that in size a bit and that's now a bit wonky. There we go. It does take a fiddle. To, you, you do need to fiddle with it. And then I want kind of an arc underneath to show you how long each task should take. So go back to insert shapes. There's no semicircle, unfortunately, in uh, PowerPoint, which causes a bit of difficulty. But there is a on the flowchart section a delay which you can actually wangle to make it look like one so I'm going to put it in and then I'm going to twist it round this green that's to rotate, you always use that to rotate I'm going to reduce it in size a bit and then I'm going to go right click format shape I'm not going to have any fill and I'm going to make the line colour also red again Okay. and then I'm going to join it to my arrow there the arrow is just a tad bit longer and I'm going to reduce this in size again so actually I need that yeah so there's one task number one um, I'm going to put another text box in insert text box and I'm going to go that this, this task is going to take seven days so twelve Again, it's at 12. Calibri 12, so that needs to be Calibri 12. Sorry if I'm mumbling to myself. And make that blue as well. So, task one. Circle there to start the task onto another circle. So, what I would do is make this a shape that you can copy again and again and use and use and use. And what you need to do to do that is left drag so keep your finger down on your left mouse button drag the lasso over it as you can see all, every point gets selected and then you right click sorry I've got a bit of a cold then you right click and put group this is important because that then that whole thing then becomes one shape so group group up oh, and now it's one big shape that I can change 
I can also change what task it is. So if I make a copy of this, um, sorry, if I copy it uh, with Control and C, and then Control and V it over the top, I can now put another task. So I want to start task two. So I've changed the value in there. It lets me change it, but I can't change anything else. So task two. That's also going to take nine days yeah and then I copy that again um, I'm going to paste it again control and V or you can go to your paste menu task number three is going to take um, oops I shouldn't have let me move that I'll just undo it look don't move it but you can change the value so ten days Oh, we need to sort that out. Ten days. Can also move it left a bit. But no, it's not aligned. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Normally, then I'm going to copy it, and I want. I'm going to select these, and I'll move more down a bit. And move them to the side. And then select them all again. Lot. That's important. You always have to select all of them. Copy them to the left. Add your edge. I'm also going to select them all again, and you can actually resize them all like that. Yeah. Select again. Sorry, make sure everything's selected. And then we'll resize again. Yeah. Gets it makes them smaller. You can then bring them to, a bit closer together again. Helps that you've got these intersection lines. What? And then I'm gonna make that text box a bit better, bigger again. Ten. Look. A bit of fiddling, but it does work. You can also make them a bit bigger if you wanted to. I'm going to copy this one for an example. Then I'm going to paste it again. And this is your critical path. And I'm going to go, I want this one upwards this time. Because this is normally our network diagrams you use to save space. And I want it to be task 4. Oops. What do you do? If you ever make a mistake, just go to your redo button. Yeah. This should have been grouped, so I should be able to just touch that and go. Task four. Um. No, it shouldn't do that. It's because it's yeah. It's because it's vertical. I d I, what I do actually is do that. Change your value in your box. So I'm going to take that off a bit because it's. Um, I need to take this little value up. Ten. And I'm going to say that that's just another seven days. And then what I'm going to do now is flip it again. And there you go. And then you can. I can copy this one again. Yeah, and then you can have you can have your critical path going up there, and then you can come down and use a and use a black one. So, if I wanted to edit this, I'll copy it again. So I'll paste it. So, if you need to edit certain sections of your thing, you can um, of your drawing. You can always go to group on group and then as you can see it splits it down so now I can do all the editing so say um, format shape say now I want this color to be black okay I want that to be black so format shape I want 
Sorry, that's not worked. Yeah, format shape should make me take it. My color, that's for some reason that was not right. Okay, I'll get rid of it. Oh, format shape, what? Line color, want that one black. Light shape, line color, hide line, black. Oops, that's why it's the text box that I'm selecting and not the actual. No, I don't want to line color for that. It's the area around it. So I'm, gonna get, I'm just going to drag this down. And then, look, as you can see, I've selected the little shape now. I want the line color for there to be black. And I'm going to put that 7 back up in there. Yeah. I'll make this a bit bigger actually because. Um, that gives you a bit more room. And that's centre aligned. Yeah. So. Then I'm going to select all of them again. I'm going to load him down my left button. And I'm going to go to group. And now, well, I can. It just selects the same one, and I can change the value in the text box. Shouldn't move the text box, but you can just click in until you see the cursor. Sorry, it's not working at the moment. There you go. Eight. All that task is. Just press your delete button when when you see the cursor flash in. I want that five, and a lot you can have then. You just move this you can then have this going down kind of like I can then break it onto there and I can say that this is my slippage time <laughs> so then I can uh, copy that and paste it and as you can see I can then go well this is the time that I've got left in the project you know? Yeah? Just let me make that look a bit better. Yeah? And I can go copy. I'm obviously not changing the values now, but you kind of get what I'm, I'm doing. And then that goes onto there. And then copy again. And then paste special. So you can either call them task 1, 2, 3 or task. A, B, C. Yeah, and then if I want that one to go down again, I can put another one in there, paste it again. And I can take that one down again, just. Yeah. So you critical path along the top. These I'm going to just take this down a bit. What I would have done with this red is actually um, made the box that the number's in a bit bigger, but that's something that you can fiddle with later on. But all these numbers can be changed. Everything can be changed in it. That, that section. So that can be 10. Yeah. 11 and you can order it that way and then you as you can see you've got your project diagram you can all select them all and you can if you want to move them down make sure everything's selected or you can hit control and a yeah and then just shift it down a bit if you want a bit more space to go upwards again and that's how you do it and it's as simple as that well it's taken a while but once you get the hang of it so if I want to edit any of these, I select the one that I want to edit. Oops, sorry. So I select the one I want to edit, say, and I'll go move it out of the way for the second, um, and then I can go group, on group. I want to make, it's this bit that I want to make a bit bigger. Yeah. And then I'll go and select it again, and I'll group it. Yeah. This is a bit fiddly, but once you get going, it's um, you know, 
and then look it's all grouped again the individual items aren't selected because they're all grouped together yeah so then I could you know could save this template for when I want to do another project diagram and that's basically what you do um, to create these um, network diagrams as they're called um, hope that's been helpful um, I'll send the template if needed um, let's put this on my desktop um, network project network diagram network diagram I'll make it a PPT Yeah, so if anyone needs to have a look at that, then I can send it to you. Okay, thanks for watching.